Hello there. Well, and in this video, we are going to be updating and cleaning around here with our Lego City. That's right, finally, a video about our Lego City here. I've been dying to update it and do a little bit of work around here with it. And there are a number of things I'd love to get done here in this video. And number one, starting off with this Batman scenery. I'm not the biggest DC nor Batman fan all that much to begin with when it at least comes to this version of Batman. So I'm going to go ahead and scrap all these guys. They've been up here for ever in a day anyways and i would also like to clean up a little bit here with our fire station roof there as well as you guys can kind of see here it uses quite a bit of our available plates that i have for our lego room collection and aside from that, not really all that much, I guess, regarding our LEGO City. However, it is just right next to the LEGO City, just about, are these little kind of wall art pieces I attempted to put up way back in the day. That's right. These are from my middle school days, and all they are are actually the covers or the fronts of different LEGO boxes and sets that I had. I cut them out, and my original idea was to make a mural of some sorts and essentially cover up this entire wall in uh these front cover boxes or whatever you really want to call them just box our covers i guess and uh well they've never really stayed put all that much and i'm not really one to want to cut all my boxes up anymore and uh so yeah i have this one right here and it recently fell off and i think it's my time i think that's my calling so i will also be doing that there with our city here as well different angle and perspective which is something I've also been very eager to do here in a new video here because this side of the Lego room is so much more cleaned up here now that I'm able to actually access our Lego city from this side here and uh, really take a look here at different new views and perspectives of our Lego city and also have more reachability as in kind of working around maybe over here and uh, displaying and putting up and uh, configuring different minifigures around in the Lego city there as well however this box right here is one of the Rise of Skywalker Lego Star Wars sets that's going to have to go away. It's not on our sealed uh, sealed uh, set shelf right here because it just simply doesn't fit. It goes to show how many sealed sets I do have. So it's going to be joining our larger sealed set area over here. Uh, we have the ATTE, no, no, ATAT. I wish it was ATTE. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have that. Grogu, Yoda, Vader's Castle, and plenty of other stuff. Two Harry Potter sets there as well. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. So while I'm working on all of this stuff here, I'm going to update you guys throughout it, although it's pretty simple tasks here that I have laid out here for this video. So it really shouldn't take all that long. Towards Closer towards the end of this video, I have some huge updates I'd love to share with you guys that I've been dying to actually share with you guys here on the channel regarding our cinema and as well as the museum here, what's going on with this whole kind of pop culture type of street, so to say, and so to call it. It's including there, of course, Sesame Street, the Scooby-Doo van, uh, we have some Muppet characters and other Disney characters there as well in this area. So we're really kind of fully transforming it into a pulp culture type of street. So I'll also be talking about that, however, closer towards the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. So not that much time has really passed all that much, but as you guys can see, the top of the fire station is totally cleared of all of the Batman minifigures. So where do they go? I'll show you guys that in just a moment. But first, let's take a look here at our new, more cleaned up type of wall. I mean, all of those pieces of cardboard have come down, they're gone now. And so when you first look and you come into the room, it's just a blank wall and it feels cleaner. I like it a whole lot more to be really much more honest. These were all of those different little cardboard pieces that had been up there, different movie, different types of sets, the Lego movie, uh, city sets, and that type of stuff there. And beforehand, there were plenty of other uh, pieces up there as well that had actually eventually just peeled off and fallen off. I'll give it to these guys. They were a little bit tougher to actually take off, hence why they've probably been up there for so long, because the tape was just a whole lot much better. And speaking of all the tape, I went ahead and cleared it all off, peeled the rest of it off, clearing, kind of tearing up a little bit of the cardboard but it's whatever type of thing so i'm gonna actually hold on to these and uh just save them for a rainy day type of thing maybe i will find some way to use them or display them in some type of way just not now maybe later 
So where did all of the Batman minifigures go? They went into the trusty Nike box of minifigures. All of the minifigures that are in this box right here are all considerably, well, city type of minifigures, so to speak. They're all minifigures that I've had previously in the city before and would like to integrate back into the city there as well. And it's not just the Batman ones, clearly. There is a whole lot more than just that, as you guys can tell and see there as well. And underneath that would be even more minifigures in this little kind of thing right here, this little container. Well, to be fair, it's really not, I guess, small or anything, but yeah, it's a container. Real quickly, before we go ahead and talk about what's going on with the museum and our Lego cinema here as well, I'd like to talk about the roof of our fire station here as well. Now, before, this was actually completely covered in the plates and it had a full roof and everything going for it. It looked honestly pretty great and we were pretty happy with it. However, since then, other projects have kind of come up that require these plates. So I say, well, just kind of take it all off and take it all apart. So let's get rid of the plates and kind of just leave it open for the time being. I think I'll actually move the crane over here to kind of symbolize that, yeah, it's under construction type of thing for the time being. However, I'm also in need of plates, actually. I just don't really have any smaller type of plates, and I would need a smaller type of plates for buildings like this, smaller buildings, and especially with our additional table for our expansion of our city there as well, which I will do a little bit of work with that in this week here. I'll cover in a separate video here on the channel. I really wanted to focus on kind of keeping this part of the city more up to par and up to date. I'm gonna go ahead and take off all of these little plates here, and then so that way I can finally make and work on our blue building. And for those of you that aren't in the know, our blue building consists of all of these one by four kind of pieces right here and bricks right here. I got these from a pick a brick uh, wall back at a Lego store so long ago, and I've been dying to actually use these bricks. And I, of course, with the intent of filling up an entire pick a brick cup, I had the intent of using all of these bricks for one single project, that there being a new additional city building here that would be very similar to our yellow building and our orange bank building there as well and also kind of to be notably fair there on the same side there is that the orange building isn't actually entirely completely finished as you guys can see it still needs an actual door and for these buildings there's no really real interior or anything going on with them they're just kind of city buildings so to speak skyscrapers if i come up with something that i'd like them to be then they'll be it i guess the orange building for now is a bank building and the yellow one is more just of a computer workspace type of building with our detectives on the top of it Honestly, because of the blue building being such a legacy type of thing here on the channel and I've had that project in store for such a dang long time, I'll be saving that project for a separate feature video here on the channel before I really go ahead and construct it and lay it out. It's going to use other few elements as well. It's not going to just use those blue bricks as you guys can see here with our orange building right here. It uses a few other bricks in there as well and has some different... That just fell. It has some different kind of stuff there on the top there as well, which is uh, pretty great. I'd also like to rotate around our yellow building actually there as well. So it's facing maybe this way. So that way you can actually see there's, there's windows and there's a door and there's a little trash can and bushes and a little bit of vintage there on the building as well. I'd like to actually be seen. And when you walk in and you look at the actual city, you just see a yellow, a yellow thing you don't know really what it is entirely so i'm gonna go ahead and situate that there as well and i honestly also feel like when i first originally put this building in the city the yellow one that is i feel like i actually had it rotated so it was that way so i really can't recall or remember what happened with that and why it is facing that way Okay, so let's finally talk about it. What's going on with our Lego cinema and our Lego museum over here? These are going to be taken out and replaced. They're not gonna be exiting the city or anything like that. They're just gonna be over here on this part of the city. So what's gonna be taking their place? I currently have the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Express train that I'd like to go more or less on this side and at an actual train station on the other side. And there I go knocking more stuff. Hmm. That's just gonna be a current theme, I guess, throughout this video. And as of for the museum, I'd like that to be replaced with the Lego Avengers Tower that I don't have right now. So I've gotta stop knocking this stuff over. This is getting, that doesn't actually really even belong up there. I simply just kind of set it up there. I think this should go over here with our business type buildings. Maybe there'd be an, a kind of a way I could integrate it with our blue building here. So yeah, that'd be interesting. 
And so just like that, to our LEGO fire station. This playlist, no roof. Let's hope it doesn't rain in the LEGO city. These are just gonna go ahead and put in here. I'll know where they are. Trust me, I'm like the only one that's ever in here. And I'm very excited actually to finally like do something with these bricks. I mean, I've had them forever as I had mentioned. So, and I've always had the intent of, of using them to make another kind of skyscraper type of building. I think one last type of skyscraper type of building I'd like to integrate into this portion of the city would be a red one. I don't know, I think it just seems kind of fitting there at the same time maybe have all of the colors of the rainbow a green a purple one uh maybe get those kind of bricks every time i make my way over to the lego store and uh, pick up some stuff so for the time being the cinema and the museum are going to simply stay put right here for for now i'm going to go ahead and work on an actual train station that would go right here and then as i had mentioned i also have the lego hogwarts express one that would be right here yes so that would kind of go on the behind half of that, the train and everything kind of as a nice little display piece there for those of people that would come over here to view it over here. And in the case that I ever have friends or family down here to take a look here at the Lego city there as well. And also for just us, us the channel here, you guys, the viewers, and just me. That definitely is why it's such a nice, I think, kind of thing here to have this area cleared. That way I have shelving right here and I'm able to just kind of walk in here. There's stuff right here and it's like yeah it's nice it's cleared up finally i mean for the ogs that have been watching our channel forever and staying up to date with the lego room tour updates and city updates and all that type of stuff there used to be mad containers in this corner right here and this area was totally unapproachable there was no way you'd get any in here some time has now passed here since i recorded that last clip you guys just saw there and uh well i think that's gonna do it for today's video i've got this wall nice and cleared up and i think it looks a lot better we have this cleared up plus we have all of our plates back finally so i'm gonna have to work on kind of i don't know figuring something out to go on with this maybe i'll order plates that will all look more or less like the same and the same size to put up here instead or i don't know what i'll do maybe i'll close it up with bricks and make something else like an actual legit roof instead of just plating it i don't know that's just kind of up in the air i got that box figured out and situated so it's out of the way and gone i explained what we're doing with the museum and the cinema in this video here as well and we're now looking at some plans to put another building in the city and this honestly could be the final building i'm not even gonna lie to you guys that could go in the city never mind who am i kidding i mean the city's never gonna stop changing and moving and that type of stuff so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to doing that i'll do it in a separate future video here on the channel so hit the subscribe button if you haven't already let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and i'd love to hear what you guys all think what do you guys think about my city what do you guys think about my lego room what are some things that are going on in your lego areas your lego displays your lego cities and your lego rooms as well i'd love to hear what you guys all think in the comment section down below and have to say Thanks so much for watching today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day, guys, or night. Have a great one. Peace out.